Hi, this is Emily. So I was with my client yesterday. We we're watching The Mummy. And uh, I babysit pussy galore. Cats are obsessed with me. Wherever I go, cats love me. And I was thinking about Egyptian culture. I used to dye my hair with henna. I bought some hair dye today. I, it's, I'm a brunette. You know that. And I, I usually will go to Sally's to dye it myself. I used to dye my hair with henna. And I used to go out in the sun. I used to be more of a browner color than I do tan. And I went out to Ross again. I got dimes and sapphires. I wanted to try another Olivia Taylor perfume. I was thinking about how Olivia Taylor portrayed Cleopatra. Now this perfume is really amazing. It's a nighttime perfume. It's floral. It's even better than Love and White Diamonds. I really, really like it. And, you know, it was my birthday recently, and my aunt came over and swung by and gave me this Brighton bracelet. It's like a knotted bracelet, and I'm Scottish royalty. It's funny, and um, that's my aunt's side, married to my Uncle Perry. That's the Scottish side. She got this Celtic rope from Brighton. She remembered that I like Brighton. I mentioned it years ago, and she remembered. She came over and gave me a late birthday present. I just recently got Love and White Diamonds, and I went to return and got this, and Elizabeth Taylor did betray Cleopatra. The Cleopatra was Greek, mixed with, like, Persian. She was like Queen Jezebel. She was dark olive tone skin with dark hair, and they braided their hair in elaborate hairstyles, and there was coins of her made with her likeness, or, like, her big ethnic nose, and women all looked like that back then, so it was no big deal. That's how women looked then, because a lot of them had strong ethnic features. They weren't real mixed. They usually were mixed with just a little bit of Persian, a little bit of Greek or Roman. And the Romans worshipped Apollo. She worked. At, she worshipped Venus, and she believed she was to be the daughter of Isis. So she would have elaborate parties where people just played around and perved around. And she was with, with both Mark Anthony and... With Julius Caesar. So she was being tossed around like a baton here. And then the movies are always going to romanticize things like it was some wonderful romance. When really royalty, it wasn't about like romance. It was about looking powerful. And royalty did this a lot. So people didn't think it was too scandalous. But it still was shocking. People gossiped about her. Because she was, was you know, had more than one lover here. But she wanted it to be like that. And when she died, they made these Venus statues to look like her likeness. She didn't put that in her will, but she willed that to be done. And they worshipped Cleopatra like she was a goddess. Now I wouldn't want that happening after I died. But this is what the royalty would do because they were rich, powerful, and they wanted to look good. They have the Egyptians and Greeks to show off to and all these other royal families to show off to. Now, it wasn't some romantic romance. It was more done seriously, mainly to show off. And when she killed herself, it's because she was scared she was going to be overpowered. And people gossiped. They didn't like her. She wasn't good. She wasn't a good ruler. She didn't help the economy. She liked to have lavish parties and party around and drink and just goof off kind of a girl. 39, that's a big accomplishment to die age 39 as a royal. Most of a lot of them like were 16, 17 years old, 18, and they were assassinated or they just didn't last. None of these movies were historically accurate to the real Cleopatra. Libby Taylor, come on out, blue eyes and glamorous. Elizabeth Taylor is fantastic looking. She's one of the most glamorous stars in Hollywood, like, ever. Cleopatra was just a very simple looking woman, like Jezebel, but powerful, worshipped as a goddess. Venus, you know, they worship the sun, the moon, the stars, and all these Egyptian gods, you know, these different... Ra, the sun god, and she wasn't some great, wonderful ruler, and neither was she a romantic. She was not romantic at all. This was not romantic or wonderful. It was horrible. She committed suicide at age 39. 
No, they believe that you reincarnate into a god, a super goddess in the next life. No, it wasn't some wonderful thing. Cats were looked at as a sacred, like, cause they had god, a god, they, you know, the, they had these different gods that were like of a, of a cat or a frog. That's in like, for fertility and Venus and all that, but it wasn't some wonderful thing. These Hollywood movies are all fake and baloney crap, you know. I, I watched The Mummy and it's all, you know, Hollywood eyes and they made the pharaohs and all that look real good. But back then, they didn't always look so great. Especially Julius Caesar. I highly doubt he was that great looking. And I'm sure the romance wasn't so great either. It probably was mainly to show off in front of people and look great, but it wasn't anything like romantic. Okay, whatever floats your boat, but yes, I love cats. I, I, you know, cats love me. It just so happened to be, always be that way since I was young. And I like to dye my hair red because I'm pasty now and I am a brunette and I am more of an olive tone. I have a cousin. She has more of like that ethnic Italian nose and she's, you know, olive tone. I'm not going to go out in the sun and burn myself. I got to get pre-cancer spots like my sister has like no way yeah scottish mixed very mixed now because years passed by this is bc before christ cleopatra didn't know christ she didn't know anything about christ and neither did queen jezebel and if there was a movie that was made to make her look really like how she looked and what was really going on nobody would watch it this isn't romantic turn the channel that's it